Okay guys, I just wanted to shoot this little segment here to let everybody know. My hunch was correct about being shadow banned on YouTube. Um, I was contacted by a follower, a friend on my YouTube channel. They told me that they continuously are being unsubbed from my channel by someone at YouTube. And they're not the only one. And they've, they went on to tell me, have you been posting content on the daily like usual? And I said, yeah, every day. So, yeah, so my channel on YouTube is shadow banned. And all the more reason you guys can help support me by um, first making sure you're sub to me and also becoming a Patreon member because YouTube doesn't like the content I put out on their platform. Um, I'm guessing it's because I'm a person that's awake to what's going on around me. I don't, I'm not holding CNN's hand, walking around, believing uh, everything they tell me. And uh, I hope, hopefully my, uh, you guys out there don't do that either. You guys are on to uh, the nonsense they're pulling. So the good news is the Trump's dropping the hammer on the big tech companies. First, they're going for Apple, and that's already gone through Supreme Court. So Apple is now open up to being sued by anyone out there because of their censoring of apps and communications on their platform. They're, they're target number one. And I've also learned next, Trump's going after Google. Hence, Google owns YouTube. And it's going to be antitrust broken up because Big Tech and the people running Big Tech think it's okay to ban people they don't agree with and fail to debate with. So, first it's Apple, then it's Google slash YouTube, and then Facebook's next. And after them, um, well, since Facebook owns, I think, Instagram and uh, WhatsApp, they will be included in that. So, Mark Zuckerberg, Trump's coming for you, buddy. <laughs> You jump the shark by uh, banning people for no good reason. Making up words like hate speech and other garbage. So apparently I'm on the list and I would be shocked if I wasn't actually. But it makes a whole lot of sense guys why my channel has been stagnant for years on YouTube. They didn't like someone that's awake to what's going on around them. Uh, they didn't like that. So they shadow ban my content. And what does that mean? They censor, they remove my subs, my videos should be reaching a wider audience, but that's not the case. So this has been happening for years. And it's actually stagnated my progress here at the off-grid tiny house getting projects done affording projects getting done stuff done faster so interesting developments and now now you're gonna say oh Rob you're crazy uh, get the tinfoil hat out no guys this is actually going on 
And I'm not the only one out there who knows it's going on. And if you choose not to believe it, well, you're walking around like this, holding CNN's hand, everything's happy, they're whispering in your ear, do what I tell you, this is what's happening, you don't need to open your eyes. That's basically, if you're not awake, guys, you're not awake. It's the way it is. So, that's happening. And it's not the only person who's commented on it before. I waited to see, um, I, I waited for, like, I didn't, out, I didn't do any outreach to any of these people. These are my followers that approached me and said, what's going on? I keep being unsubbed from your channel. I get no notifications. Um, what, what's the deal? And then I went on to explain to them what's going on. So, that's what's going on, guys. And it makes a whole lot of sense because my channel should be way up there in subs and views. But, oh no, YouTube keeps me about 50 views on average, even though I have over 3,000 subscribers. Shadow banned, guys. Absolutely shadow banned. So they don't, they probably don't like what I'm about. I'm about freeing myself from government control by being off the grid. And they don't probably really don't like my prepping SHTF videos. And that's why they put me on the ban hammer uh, shadow ban list. So guys, if you want to support me, please consider becoming a Patreon member for only a dollar a month. It's actually where I get most of my funding now thanks to some great people on Patreon, Yoper, Pam, Pierre. Because of them, I actually make more on Patreon than I do on YouTube. Now without them, I will make enough to just pay my rent here on YouTube. So the more reason for you guys to jump on Patreon, well, that's that's the main reasons to jump on Patreon and help me out. Guys, if you can't if you like my content and can't afford a dollar a month, then you got some serious issues to contend with. Um I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> if if that's the case or you just don't want to spend any money. But whatever. Um that is what's going on here at the off grid tiny house. Luckily, I was able to push through the crap. I'm still shadow banned, I know I am, until Trump antitrusts the hell out of all these big tech companies, all these liberals that are up there screwing with the numbers because they don't like the like uh, free speech and what everybody has to say. And the big tech companies that hide behind the, oh, we're a private company uh, deal, that doesn't fly, guys. not fly and I cannot wait Trump is putting the hammer down you're gonna be broken up you're gonna lose so much money that you're ridiculous and actually it came out I posted this on my Facebook page it came out when YouTube went out and publicly stated they're gonna ban all these conspiracy videos and everything else they lost 70 billion dollars 70 billion dollars lost because instead of YouTube they turned into censor tube they didn't like anything that was out there that was popular that went against what they in their cult it it just didn't it didn't like they didn't like it so they shot themselves in their foot and by continuing to ban people now the president and the government's involved and they will be broken up. They will lose a lot of money. They will lose a lot of jobs. And then everybody on the internet will have probably a nice internet bill of rights where nobody can censor anything unless you're going to do something illegal. 
And here's a pointer, guys. Hate speech, not a crime. It doesn't even exist. It's something a cult made up, liberal cult, social justice warriors, they made up. Because they're offended by you not following, getting in line with their garbage cult. So there you go. <laughs> we figured it out. Uh, my channel's been shadow banned. And I've also been shadow banned on Facebook because my stuff does not get any traction. And there you go. So my little rant there, guys, on what's going on. Thankfully, I'm awake. I will follow alternative media. I know what's happening next. I get next year's news today. And I Trump already... Uh, this won't be heard on mainstream media because <laughs> they're controlled. Mockingbird media. So, yeah, Trump's going to go for Apple first. Yes, sir. And the biggest reason they did Apple first, they sold out everybody that owns an Apple product to China. They moved to China, so they pay 0% income tax. But in order to join China and do that, they had to give Apple to the Chinese government, which means the Chinese government has everyone's code keys, Apple code keys. What are Apple code keys? Apple code keys are access to anyone's Apple device. That means the Chinese government has control of, if you own an Apple product, there you go, China owns you. So, Trump's going after him first, and it's successful so far. They're gonna get their pants suit off, and that's only step one. They continue to fight it, they'll be broken up. Then Google's gonna be broken up, you slash YouTube, and then Facebook, like I said. So, get ready guys. Vote Trump 2020. We're gonna take our internet, we're gonna make the internet great again. We're gonna bring it back to normal land where a liberal social justice warrior cult um, doesn't take it over and control speech. So there you go, guys. Good news, but bad news for me because, well, it's good news I get confirmation that I'm being shadow banned on all these big tech platforms, but the good news is I know it will be fixed in a few years if Trump gets reelected, which I think he will, absolutely. We had, uh, I've been following Joe Biden's uh, crap, crap show. 300 people show up to visit him for his little talks. Whereas Trump sells out stadiums. So, I think we're good. Oh, and by the way, Hillary, Hillary knows this. The Democrats know this. That Joe's chances are in the crapper. So, they're going to bring out Hillary again to run. Even though she said she's already not going to do it. Because that's their last best chance to get in. And they're praying for a pity vote for her. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to work out. And uh, there you go. So, you guys want to know how I'm getting this information? Ask me in the comments. I'll tell you. But you won't probably like it and you won't probably watch it. Because I already have a few of my members who refuse to watch any alternative media but that's okay it's their choice they want to walk around like this go for it <laughs> so i got work to do at the tiny house guys we'll talk to you later